So let us have a look. So this is my AC2 instance. So let us first of all let us update our AC2 instance by using sudo app update. So as you can see, it is running. Now let us install it with CLI. So the command is sudo apt install it with CLI. So let us execute this command and visit the AWS section for knowing about AWS. So sudo apt install AWS CLI. I'll press Y. So till the AWS CLI is getting installed, let us see how we can create users. So for this, go to the IAM of your AWS account. Now what is IAM? Please refer to the AWS session in Salesforce Drillers. So this is the IAM dashboard. So go to users and click on add user. Now here provide the username. So I will be providing the username as admin and I will be giving the programmatic access. Then for the permissions, I will be giving the admin access. So I click on the administrator access and then I click on next and then I click on create user. So these are the access key and secret key of our created user with the help of which we will be configuring the user. So let us come back to our server. Let us execute AWS configure. Now here I will enter my access key. And then I will enter my secret key. And then for the region is US East 1. That is North Virginia. The default output format is JSON. Okay, so our user is now configured. So let us now create an S3 bucket for storing our cluster configuration. So I will create in the S3 bucket using the CLI that is AWS S3 MB that is make bucket S3 colon slash slash and the bucket name. So let us keep our bucket name as Salesforce Drillers Salesforce hyphen Drillers hyphen KTS and press enter. So our bucket has now created. So I will just saying. So now let us check whether docker is installed or not. So why do we need to install docker? So that Kubernetes should be able to pull images from our repository. If the image is in the public repository, then no need to install docker. But if the image is in private docker repository, if I take example of production cases, so your repository should be private so that your docker images should not be accessible by anyone. So in that case, your repository should be private. So we need to install docker. And we need to provide the credentials path to the cube, to the cube CTL, to the Kubernetes so that it should be able to pull our Docker images from the private repository. So for that, we have to execute a command and that command is given here at the bottom of the Salesforce website document. If I scroll down, so here is this command, you have to execute this command. So I will be skipping this portion because I am having my image in a public repository. So let us have a look. So I will be using this image that we used in our Prometheus session. It is in our public repository. You guys can use it too for the demo purpose. Now as we have installed Docker, now let us proceed and let us install Kops that is Kubernetes operations. So let us copy this command from here. Let us paste it in our terminal. So these are the commands for installing Kops, that is Kubernetes operations. So all the cluster creation and deletion procedure will be covered by Kops and all the deployment process will be handled by kubectl. kubectl is Kubernetes CLI. So for installing kubectl, as you can see, command is given here blow so let us copy the command from here so as i told you kubectl means that all the deployments processor all the deployment processes will be handled by kubectl let us copy these commands from here
Photo app to update. Now let us install kubectl. So as we can see that it is installed. So yes, kubectl is now installed. Now let us proceed further. Let us now create our cluster. Before that, let us check whether the SSH key has been generated or not. So why do we need to create SSH key? So that we should be able to SSH to our master and the node servers of our Kubernetes cluster. With the help of this SSH key, we will be able to do SSH. So the command is given in the website. You can refer the website for the command that is SSH-keygen. Now let us store these variables that says export chaos cluster name in our bash.rc. So from here, we will be calling these variables instead of the real name. So for example, as you can see, it is saying export chaos cluster name. So let us make our cluster name as salesforcechillers.kts.local Then export chaos state store. So our S3 bucket name. So what was our S3 bucket name that we have created? Let us have a look. It was I think salesforce-drillers-kts. So let us let us confirm. So yes, it is salesforce-drillers-kts. So let us enter our bucket name. So let us now save the bash.rc and let us restart our bash.rc. This is the command for restarting the bash.rc. It is given in the documentation on Salesforce tillers. So let us now proceed further and create our cluster. That is Kops create cluster. Now let us copy this command and paste it in the editor first. Now what this command is doing? This command is creating our cluster with our node count means one node server. So let us make it instead of one. Let us make it like three. So what it will do? It will create three node servers. So let us make it three. So as you can see, it is saying T2 micro. So I am using T2 micro because it comes under free tier. But in case of production, do not use T2 micro. So let us copy this command from here. Let us paste it in our terminal. So let us press enter. Chaos period cluster hyphen hyphen node count three. So as we can see, the cluster creation process has started. Now let us give it a final finish by executing, by executing the command chaos update cluster hyphen hyphen name our cluster name space hyphen hyphen yes that is over here. The command is given. So let us copy this command and paste it and execute it. Let us press enter. So as we can see. Now, after executing this command, our master and node servers will be up in our EC2 console. So, as it is seeing the cluster is starting and it should be ready in few minutes. So, let us have a look on the EC2 console. It will take near about 15 to 20 minutes for our cluster to be in up and in ready state. So, as we can see, Yeah, this is our master one and these are our node servers. So let us wait till they get stable and proper running state. So let me just pause my video for that time. So guys, as we can see that our servers are in running state. It almost took 15 to 20 minutes. So let us have a look. As we can see, they all, they all are in running state. So let us hit back to our terminal. Let us clear the screen first. Now let us check that whether they are communicating with each other and whether they are and whether the cluster is ready or not. So for this we have to execute a command that says kubeops validate cluster. So yes, as it is saying that the cluster salesforce tillers .kts local is ready. So guys, that is how we can create cluster using chaos in EC2. So that is all about.